Hey there and welcome to the Zava Sound YouTube channel. My name is Don Odom and thanks for joining me today as we begin our uh, really our first video on how to use the Q Widget Pro. We did have uh, one other shorter video about just a quick overview of the widgeteering uh, Q Widget Pro and um, it's a great device that's going to allow uh, you to control two sessions of QLab simultaneously. As you can see here, I'm only using uh, one MacBook Pro, but on the side, uh, we have a Type A to Type B connector, and then we have another one. So essentially, we can control a primary and redundant system of QLab. And uh, we also have a foot switch control if you wanted to use an external uh, Go switch. Alright, so let's uh, start by discussing uh, what the MIDI control buttons are. Uh, I don't exactly know offhand which uh, note gets sent when uh, you press uh, each of the buttons here. I didn't take a note of that, but uh, it should be in the video uh, right now. Um, we can control uh, QLab with multiple button presses. So essentially, uh, we can turn this knob left, and that's going to send a MIDI trigger. You can turn it right also. You can push the knob in. So that's already three MIDI controls, left, right, and push. Now, on top of that, you can hit the Go button. Obviously, that'll send a MIDI trigger. Pause and Stop will also send their own MIDI triggers. But then you can also do double pressing, mean, meaning uh, you can press two of these at the same time and send MIDI triggers as well. You can press all three at the same time, Stop and Go at the same time. It's a very great device with a lot of control and really for a relatively cheap price, especially when you add the Zava Sound promotional code on top of that. It comes out to be about $200, and that includes two 15-foot uh, gold-plated um, uh, Type A to Type B cables from Monoprice. It's a, they're a great cable set, and I'd really advise you to go ahead and pick one of these up, especially because uh, of that promotion code. I don't imagine it lasting uh, forever. All right, so again, uh, two Type A to Type B outputs and also that external foot switch control, uh, which I've used a few times, works great. And... Um, yeah, it's just a great device. So let's jump into setting this up in QLab. It's pretty simple. We're going to come up to our workspace settings by clicking Window and then Workspace Settings. And now we just hit Use Musical MIDI Controls. Now what we want to do is uh, hit Capture on each of the parameters or the commands we want to change. So let's uh, talk about Go first. So let's hit Capture. And then we're going to click the Go button on the widget hearing, uh, Q Widget Pro here. So let's hit Go. And you can see it sends a MIDI trigger for Go. It's a... Uh, Byte one. And then uh, let's do load next. So I want my load to be the press of this uh, knob here. So let's press in the knob and it sends on byte four. And then uh, let's do panic all. We want, um, how about stop to be panic all? Sorry if you hear any uh, construction workers out there. I know they're, they're working hard out there today. <laughs> my apologies about that. And then pause all is going to be this key right here. You can do this in any arrangement you want. I'm just doing it how I like it. So let's uh, click the pause button and it's going to send a byte on three. And then uh, the resume all, let's do go and pause. So let's press both of those buttons in. We hit capture and then let's go ahead and do it. Byte eight. And playhead previous, let's turn the knob left. Playhead next, let's turn the knob right. So now if we hit done and we come out to QLab, let's click the first Q for it. We can go ahead, scroll through with the knob. We can hit load and it's going to load. Now if we go back, we can hit stop to panic all. And we can play through some of these if you want. And you might hear some audio here for a quick second. Then you hit stop to panic all. Now what we do is we can come down and let's play uh, the song one. This is a hypothetical church setup. Let's hit go. How's everybody today? Now you can see uh, I paused all of them just there. And uh, to play it again, I was hitting both of them uh, before. For some reason, I thought that that was the pause command. That's actually the resume. So let's uh, resume them now. Then I can hit panic to stop it. So you saw that we have a lot of control here with this unit. It also has a nice rubber pad on the bottom, so it's not going to go anywhere. And um, it's just a really well-constructed unit, and it, it's great for QLab, especially if you have that primary and redundant setup. 
All right, so I'm going to be making a few more videos on this guy, uh, Widget Hearing Studios, and I just recently partnered. So uh, we have a few more uh, months with these guys, and I'm excited to be working with them uh, so closely and uh, just experiencing this product because it's great. I've actually used it at my uh, mixing job uh, at a church, and uh, it worked flawlessly. And uh, I really have nothing else to say about this. It, it just works great. I'm going to be uh, using some other programs. I might try to get a copy of Ableton because I have yet to actually buy Ableton. I haven't really had a need to do it. But I might just get it to try it out with this uh, QWidget Pro. Now, you're going to ask, why should I uh, just not go get a $69 Novation MIDI controller? And honestly, the reason I would recommend this over that is because you have that primary and redundant setup. So if you did want to implement another session of QLab just to enhance, uh, you know, your redundancy, then this is your unit to go to because you, then you don't have to do MIDI bridging over uh, networking or anything like that. You just simply plug in another USB cable. It's that simple. You can add a foot switch. This is just a well thought out unit. And I haven't found anything that I'd say, man, I wish it could do this instead. And uh, they really thought, thought of that well. I really have nothing much more to say about it. Again. All right. So uh, reach out, go to uh, widgeteering.com, type in promo code Zava Sound, and you can get uh, hooked up with a 20% discount on this unit. It's a fantastic discount. And uh, use it while it lasts, guys. All right. Again, my name is Don Odom. Go follow us on Facebook or follow us on Facebook. Like our Facebook page. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Pinterest. Do all those things. Subscribe. Turn on notifications. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. All right, guys. Peace.